DeepSeq R1 is a massive 671 billion parameter model, far beyond what most people can run on their own machines. To make it more accessible, distilled versions were created using smaller open source models like Quen and Llama, ranging from 1.5 billion to 70 billion parameters. The 1.5B model needs a CPU no older than 10 years and at least 8 gigabytes of RAM. It doesn't require dedicated VRAM to run efficiently. Instead of a GPU, it relies entirely on the CPU for computations and loads into system RAM. On my system, with a 3-year-old CPU and 16 gigabytes of RAM, it runs at a decent speed of 15.55 tokens per second. The 7B and 8B models are much larger than the 1.5B model. While they can run on computers without dedicated VRAM, they will be slow. On the same system where the 1.5B model ran efficiently, the 7B model runs at 4.16 tokens per second, and the 8B model runs at 3.91 tokens per second, which is quite slow. For the 7B and 8B models, you'll need a GPU with dedicated VRAM to run them entirely on the GPU instead of using the CPU and RAM. The recommended hardware for the 7B and 8B models is a system with at least 8 GB of dedicated VRAM, allowing the models to be loaded entirely onto the GPU. When I load the 7B model on my system with an NVIDIA RTX 3060 and 12 GB of VRAM, it runs entirely on the GPU, making it much faster. This 7B model runs at 52.48 tokens per second on my NVIDIA RTX 3060 with 12 gigabytes of VRAM. And the 8B model runs slightly slower at 50.17 tokens per second. The 14B model will run entirely on a GPU with 12 gigabytes of VRAM, but there won't be much space left for anything else. That's why I recommend 16 gigabytes of VRAM for running the 14B model. And this is how fast the model runs on my NVIDIA RTX 3060 with 12 gigabytes of VRAM. It generates 28.12 tokens per second. For the 32B model, you'll need 24 gigabytes of VRAM to run it entirely on the GPU. When I load the 32B model on my 12 GB VRAM GPU, it takes 17 seconds to load. And it splits the load between the GPU and CPU and RAM. 46% of the model loads on the GPU, while 54% runs on the CPU and RAM. As expected, it's running very slow. The token generation speed is only 2.66 tokens per second. For the 70B model, you'll need 48 gigabytes of VRAM to run it entirely on the GPU. For example, that would require two NVIDIA RTX 3090, 24 gigabytes GPUs, or one NVIDIA RTX A6000 GPU. My rough estimate is that the 671B model would require around 480 gigabytes of VRAM. That's about 20 NVIDIA RTX 3090, 24 gigabytes GPUs, or around 10 NVIDIA RTX A6000, 48 gigabytes GPUs. To summarize, these are the specs needed to run the models efficiently. If you're okay with slower performance, you can run them with lower hardware requirements. The 1.5B model needs a CPU no older than 10 years and at least 8 GB of RAM. It doesn't require dedicated VRAM to run efficiently. The recommended hardware for the 7B and 8B models is a system with at least 8 GB of dedicated VRAM. I recommend 16 GB of VRAM for the 14B model and 24 gigabytes to run the 32B model entirely on the GPU. The 70B model requires 48 gigabytes of VRAM, 
and the 671B model would need around 480 gigabytes of VRAM.